past experiences, they become creative and they motivate each other to develop some creative uh, ways to uh, suit every client. Let's say for example, Rizek is also here. So when they employ a person using a wheelchair, you'll need, uh, you'll know the essence of uh, uh, adjusting the place to be uh, accessible for wheelchairs, like the ramps, uh, like the toilet has to be accommodative so that uh, for me to get in, I can access the latrine very comfortably. So there is no notable difference in terms of productivity because um, I think there is a myth that people with different, who are differently able have lower productivity or a higher absenteeism rate. Um, in terms of the team that we have here, there is no notable difference because uh, their performance is at par with the rest of the team. So we have one of our employees here, her name is Florence, um, she came from Riziki Source. So we have a partnership with Riziki Source where we are able to uh, train people who are differently abled and um, onboard them into some of our projects here at ADEPT. So I'd encourage each company to have a diversity and uh, non-discriminative policy so to sort of um, be able to accommodate people with disabilities because it has been proven that they're able to work and even hit their targets as um, the rest of the team. And um, for companies, I think what they